All right, time to share one of my favorite pivot table pro tips, applying multiple filters to a single pivot table field. Now, by default, you can either apply label filters, which are based on text, or value filters, which are based on numbers, to a single given field in a pivot table, but not both at the same time. So in other words, if you had a label filter applied and then added a value filter, that new value filter would overwrite or wipe out the existing label filter. So to change this, what we're going to do is head to our pivot table options. We're going to drill into our totals and filters tab and check this box that says allow multiple filters per field. Now, as you might expect, what this will allow us to do is apply filters that are based on both text and value attributes at the same time. So in this case, what we're going to do is filter down to titles that end in the number two, which is a label filter, and also drove a certain volume of revenue, which is a value filter. So the use case here is really just any time you want to apply more complex or custom filters to your pivot tables that incorporate both those text and value based conditions or criteria. So let's jump into Excel and practice filtering some fields based on both label and value filters. All right, now if you're following along, head to your pro tip workbook and go to the enabling multiple filters demo in the gray pivot table tip section. And when we link straight out, what you'll find is some movie title data here. We've got titles in column A, and we've got the gross revenue that each title produced or generated here in column B. And as you can see, we're sorted descending by gross revenue. So these top grossing movies right here at the top include Avatar, Titanic, Jurassic World, The Avengers, etc. So let's say we're exploring this data a little bit and we want to see performance for our sequels specifically. So we could simply drill into our column header here. In this case, we would apply a label filter since it's a text based filter. And we'd say, let's show the titles that end with a space and then a two, right? And press OK. And there we go. Our titles have filtered down to only these titles ending in two, which in most cases would be our sequels. And that's helpful on its own. But what I want to do really is produce a filtered down list based on the gross revenue as well. So I don't want to show all of the sequels here. I only want to show the sequels that, you know, in this case, let's say drove over $200 million of revenue. So it should produce, you know, these top 10 items in this case. So we can go back into our column header and let's jump into value filters this time and say, let's filter down titles that are greater than where our gross revenue is greater than 200 million, which is a two followed by eight zeros go and press OK. And look what happened here. Our title label filter for sequels is now gone. And if we scroll down our gross revenue column uh, does end right above 200 million. So that value filter is working, but our label filter is now gone. And if we look at our header, you'll see a little checkbox next to value filters, which tells us we do have a greater than filter applied. But that check that was next to label filters is now completely gone. Now what that tells us is that we need to enable multiple filters here in order to do what we need. So let's drill into our pivot table tool tab. Options down here on the left. And we're going to go into our totals and filters tab. And right here in the middle in the filter section, you'll see a checkbox that says allow multiple filters per field. Go ahead and give that a check and press OK. And now in theory, we've still got our value filter applied here. So now we should just be able to go back and apply that label filter ends with to drill down to just our sequels. So again, ends with space two, press OK. And there you have it. Now we're left with just those 10 titles that both end in the number two, a label filter, and drove at least 200 million in revenue, our value filter. And looking at the header, here we see those check marks applied to both types of filters. So obviously you can use this in many, many different ways using any combination of text and value based criteria. So keep that one in your back pocket. Great way to create more complex or custom filter criteria by enabling multiple filters in your pivots.